showing Maxwell Lightswell with my lovely actors Mitch Waltman, Jen Gantz, and Mike Walker, and Mary and Arupo. And this was written by Joe Tomchek and my best friend, Joe Bella. So <coughs> neighborhoods in all of South Boston. Mary, actually, the funeral Donald tomorrow. spent his formative years working for his father's convenience store, while at the same time attending the rough and tumble Boston school district. He emerged from the less than privileged environment with the strength and resolve of a man determined to make something of his life. And make something he did. Oh, what? What's going on here? This is a disgrace for Mister. You turn the lights back on. Barry, I really appreciate your kind words, but we're not having anyone speak until the funeral tomorrow. This is just the wake. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Maxwell's personal assistant for the last 15 years. Oh, Barry! Your water dish is right over my door, <laughs> You better get this lighting situation figured out. He was a, a great perfectionist man, and he would expect nothing less, even in his death. Oh, no. Barry was nothing short of brilliant, pun intended, in an industry with the pioneers the likes of Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. The Maxwell name will forever be a shining example of American pers pers perseverance and persistence. He was literally a shining light. <laughs> in death, as in life, eh, Maxwell? Completely in the dark. Oh my god, what is going on? I will figure this out. Is that you, Marcus Starmer? The one and only. How could you dare show your face here? No! Barry! Bad! Bad! 
Mr. Dahmer is a close family friend. He and my husband were good, good friends for many years. I'm sorry, Mrs. Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, who is this man? I'm Barry! <laughs> personal assistant for the last 15 years. Barry, I almost won you in the poker game. <laughs> strange, because Maxwell has still had plenty of chips. <laughs> oh, God, it's so glad you're here. This has been a disaster! Dad's appearance was no, was no thing. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind that all of this is the work of the trusted Marcus Dahmer. You've always been so jealous of him. You can't handle that <coughs> intense, fierce business of light bulbs. He made you look like a child with a Fisher Price flashlight. Uh, if you were half the man he was, you'd be. you'd be half dead. <laughs> <laughs> and even in death, he outshines you. No, you're here to sabotage this, you saboteur. <laughs> you just came to dim the last. Everlasting, shining, inspirational light by cutting the power at his funeral. Okay, look, Barry, I respect your loyalty to Donna. And well, yes, we have had our differences in the past. I would just like to say that I am here to honor Donna not only as a colleague, but also as a friend. I don't buy that for one second. Yeah, sure, be all innocence and all that, but I know your reputation. You're nothing but a, a hack. You stole everything you know from, from him. I bet you all the malfunctioning bulbs in this place are Dharma bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> well, as it, as it happens, Dharma does happen to be the supplier for this particular establishment, but... Oh, he's at it again! Damn it! Uh, how could I possibly be responsible for this when I am standing right here? I think I just stepped in a bowl. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Maxwell. This comes as a huge shock, but I've identified what's going on here. In accordance with your husband's will, all the light bulbs in this building were replaced with Maxwell. Sorry. 